Hey, greetings, everyone. So I am still setting up. Um, been doing a lot of uh, stuff off camera right now. Um, I've been cutting vinyl tubes. There's some, there's some orders that are going out, and I need to cut the tubes. As Okay, I'm jumping the gun here. Um, most of the time for things like axles and things like that, a lot of stuff that I have that pivots, moves, things like that, I or just to attach things, I like to use vinyl tubes. And because uh, when I put a peg into the, the tube, it's easy to, re to uh, remove and it stays nice and tight. So for every item that uh, goes out, you know, I, I always uh, pre-test the fittings. So I'm always testing and that leads to you know longer preparation times. I don't just print, put it to the bag, into the into the shipping box. I don't do that. Uh, so I cut these tubes to size. Um, if they're loose in the bag, I have already cut them to size, tested them, and removed them from the part. Um, but in this case, these 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 particular vinyl tubes are staying in the part. And uh, so when you get it, you know I'm talking about you. Okay, so your, your, your particular order. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. And I have some like 50 caliber machine gun type uh, items being printed. And uh, they take about an hour to print each one. And I'm going to try to print like uh, 10 of them and have them uh, pre-bagged so they're ready to go the next time the an order comes up that requires them and i'm trying to do that with uh, all the other items also i got uh some geo cams or uh, gyro cams or whatever whatever they are uh called um these are the the cameras that are on like a, they look like a big ball and they're on a on a swivel point and a pivot point and uh, so i got Five of those printed. I've got five more to print, prepare, and go get those things ready. But they'll be pre-bagged and all that. So now that the video has started a little bit, um, I I am doing this. I have a lot of items. Uh, they're not bad items. They're not junk items. But there are items that I have many of, and I'm using them, and I probably have more than what I need. Because I can always print more. So I have these items already printed, but my, my thoughts have changed some. And, and on other items, I have them uh, printed, ready to go. But on the larger project, I'm not at that point to use them yet. So they're taking up space. And so I was thinking of this. I'm, I am going to have to um, reassemble the, the VSS in using the, the classic MDF wood, just like what was done earlier this year and what was taken to Joe Fest and what I've been posting in the past. So that, that project never die down. I got had other things going on. So now I'm getting back to it. So I'm going to be bringing back what I did on the VSS for VSS 002. And but I'm going to do this. First of all, I'm going to need to bring back the VSS to help me control the piles of 3D prints that I have that are just sitting in boxes right now because there's no VSS to, to assemble them with. So I'll, I'll need to put this, the VSS back and I'll need to use those parts. But here's the thing, lessons learned. So doing, during the, uh, during Joe Fest, okay, where I had to disassemble the VSS, transport it and reassemble it, there were some items that I begin to realize that if I want to make this available for everybody, I'm going to have to do some changes to the basic design. 
Um, so the basic design of the VSS, yeah, I'm not touching. It's the stuff that I did to enhance VSS 002. The way it was attached to uh, to the MDF wood, um, the way I, ex I expanded on that MDF wood, the engine room part as being one big piece. I, I, Joe Fest was an eye opener in terms of I would have to redesign the way the parts could be assembled. And so I, I have several that I have uh, redesigned. Basically, the, the change of the design is not aesthetic. The, the change was the way the parts are connected to each other, the 3D printed parts. Instead of using or instead of relying exclusively on pegs in which I would glue, I decided to change things to, to use um, pegs as an option, but to use small Allen screws or torque screws or stem bolts, however you want to call them. Uh, you know, these with um, the hexagon um, socket, socket screws. Everyone calls them different. Home Depot calls them torque screws. I've always called them Allen screws because you use an Allen wrench for, for it. Uh, but so I'm using those. And so far on my testing, things work. The, the, the screws are tight. Uh, they are, you know, can be assembled fairly easily. So I'm thinking, okay, well, now that I'm going to be bringing back the, the main structure of the VSS, well, maybe now is the time to start when I reprint these newer pieces. Well, reprint. When I print these newer pieces for the VSS now, I could print more than what I need. I have the machines now to do that. So uh, you've seen pictures of, uh, of a belt printer. Um, well, we got more of those. And so what I intend to do is uh, have those printers print these longer pieces for the VSS. And um, in other words, what I'm getting at is as I redo the VSS 002 project, I will make those parts available for everyone to be able to to get and use and build for their own VSS. So in other words, the beams that you saw me use, I'll make those available. The bulkheads will be available. The, um, what do you call it? The side stuff, yeah, those things will be available. If you want to do the engine room like I have, that will be available. If you don't want to do it as an engine room, but you just want to have something attached to the end of the VSS like that, yeah, you, you can you know you can use the engine room like that too. Um, and it'll be a little bit more practical that you can uh, disassemble or rearrange the beams by using the screws rather than using pegs. So you put something together, you don't like it, you could just unscrew it, try a different part. Or when I get a, a different uh, beam thing shaped for a different different purpose, you can try that try that and apply it to yours and see how that might look. Essentially, essentially, it's uh, it's now becoming like in a, a large erector set. And um, if you don't want to do exactly the way I'm doing it for mine. That's fine, but if you want to use this, the same beams for the same kind of an aesthetic, that's fine as well. The options will be there. Thing is that right now you don't have those options because those beams are not available. So I'm going to make them available. Um, let's see. So there's a few items that I, I, I am going to... Uh, redo but okay this is my, my my other set of thought is another item that i was not very happy about on vss 002 was the way i 
was doing the lighting mostly because i'm not ex i wasn't that experienced with that particular um brand you can say and of uh of led light strips as i was putting them and i have a, another video where i was at, i was showing um some of those you cut a certain length and everything works but others you cut that same length and they have a a, a non-cut part there so you have to cut longer or, or skip that area you know cut different and that was kind of screwing up the way i was doing and then so as i was assembling everything i was thinking you know there's got to be an easier way to do the lighting and make it more friendly and compatible and so i'm going to focus on that on this time in other words everything you see me do for the vss2 now will be more friendly for everybody else so a lot of the lessons learned and i didn't have time to go in and, and redesign the, the lighting system in time for uh for joe fest and um but now i have that time and i'm going i'm going to redesign the way the lights were and i'll make those things available so in other words i'm i'm kind of in a certain way i'm kind of redoing the vss002 project with the improvements from the lessons learned and as i do them those parts will be available on the die warrior store so you'll be able to do to do them yourself follow the project if you want things like that um i may change the way the thruster um section is i'm not quite sure i'm not quite happy the way the some parts of the thrusters things came out i may change the overall look but anyway the thing is is that as i do those changes and do them basically live on screen if you you know if you see a part that you want to apply for your own vss uh, i'll make those things available as i do them rather than letting so much time goes go on in between so with that said um i shall begin today really um i'm also working on the uh what you call it the planetary uh, what did i settle on planetary assault weapons platform and that one let's see let's see let's see okay so i was working on this piece here but yeah so so the last video this is pretty much where i left off and i'm going to do two flavors on this first of all for those who like the small dome i will uh, continue uh fleshing out the way this looks with that dome um i also like the way that dome looks but I also want to, to work on the idea of the original idea of that single, of that single uh, tracking dome. But I want to add some armor to it, and uh, and, and some other items, um, because I'm not quite happy on on this particular flavor of it. I, I want to do something that fills in this emptiness here. Not quite sure what. I might take a pause to this and kind of work on some other. Another thing that I need to do is start working on the details of the weapon. And then I can start printing them. The thing is, is that this would be for the Die Warriors Conspiracy line of figures. However, I am, I, I am getting a bit too eager and i'm thinking like well there's gonna be other things for conspiracy so i was thinking well maybe what i can do is release this early and basically the, the all the sales that go to to this project will be used to add to the uh 
the conspiracy war chest. So in other words, everything you everything that's that's sold under the conspiracy line will be set aside to fund those to help fund those figures. Um, it's, those figures are still going to go into a Kickstarter. The thing is that you know you still you know I still need to pay for the work that's that's done and until it gets to that point, you know. So you know payments have already been done. It, it's uh, I would say the Kickstarter is mostly for the factory type stuff, the molds and things like that. And um, so until then, you know, the, the design studio is still working on stuff. And, you know, so I was thinking, well, you know, maybe, this, you know, the sales on this can be proportioned to that, you know. So that's, those are my thoughts on it. Um, plus, you'll get to see what, uh, well, anyway. Because I'll, I'll, I'll still be showing progress on the on the figures also, so so a lot of little a lot of little thoughts are jumping around in my brain right now. So <laughs> um, not only that, but man, my wife she put some food into a crock pot, and it smells good. It's not going to be ready for you know some hours from now. But uh, man, it's just like torture, you know. I can I can smell that food. It smells great. Uh, it's it's hard to not think about food when you can smell it all around and it smells good. So that that's kind of distracting my my thoughts right now too. Thoughts of lunch and but you know it's not to be ready for a while. So anyways. Um, yeah, so let me bring up the the previous design and I can get started with that. So if you're just catching up, I'm going to be uh, re uh, restarting, reassembling the VSS002. And uh, as I do them, I'll be making the parts immediately available. So if you want to recreate what you see or, or however, you'll be able to and so i'm going to be doing that like you know starting that tonight i think and uh but i need to get some orders out that have to go out tomorrow uh, so maybe maybe i'll delay that but i'll do the the orders first and get this thing out i got printers going right now um so yeah you know just chug it along so yeah, lots of little things, and I, I might seem like I'm scattered brain at the moment, and but I but I'm not. It's just that, you know, it's it's only one me, and there's so many different things going on, and um, so I'm trying to do as much as I can. So that's that's basically the announcement. Um, I'll be making the VSS parts as I do them, and um, so I'm going to have to. Well, I think I already have a section on the store. Let me take a quick look at the store, store website. What is that website? www.guywarriorsstore.com. Just got to put a plug for the store. So in there, I got uh, kits, VSS, and VSS add-ons. So let's take a look at VSS. Okay, those have... Uh, consoles and things like that, water tight door, and a few other items. Um, yeah, I am not too sure about some of these uh, things I have here because I need to. I need to do a bunch of them. So that the. Uh, uh, how to say? I'm not happy th with the way. The laser cutter is getting kind of old. I'm going to have to change that to laser cutter two, and uh, so that might be an issue going forward. But we'll see how that goes. And um, now, if I could get a bandsaw, I can use the smaller printer, uh, smaller laser cutter that still has a pretty good tube, and uh, 
just that I need to cut the pieces to size. I need to get a, a bandsaw. Yeah, either that or, or a jigsaw. But maybe a bandsaw will cut better. Yeah, so that way I can I can cut the wood to size and I can put it into the machine. Uh, the smaller machine. Okay, so uh, you know what I can do? Let me share that too. Do I can I share? Stop screen. I guess I have to stop the screen. If I click share, oh. so I go stop screen. Let me share. I think there was be a better way for me to do this, but oh well. Share screen. Window. Microsoft Edge tab. This one. Okay, so let's see. What do you all see? Ooh, kind of. Uh, well, let's see. How do I do? How should I do this? Let me um. Let me stop this. Bring up a separate browser. Stop screen. Browser. Oh come on. Browser. Okay, and let me share the browser separately. That might give more control. Share screen. And then share. Okay. So still got the same resolution as before, but let me do this. Oh, that looks a little bit better. Okay, so um, okay, so let me let me scroll down and kind of see at the same time. I really need a separate monitor for this now. So okay, so what I'm thinking of doing this is under um. Just VSS, if we go VSS add on. Yeah, okay, so I'll have to do the VSS add on. So the new stuff is going to be put on the VSS add on section. Maybe I should just call it VSS002. Or is. No, I'll just call it add on because it's not necessarily just 002 stuff. Okay. So this is where the the, uh, the new items are going to be put. The things like beams, bulkheads, things like that are going, are going to be put here. And I'm going to try to keep that separate from the regular VSS stuff. So that way there's no confusion. Or at least try not to get, you know, try not to put a, la a layer of confusion, you know, um, so that way people don't think like, oh, you know, the VSS is all of this only. You know, it's, it's not that at all. Okay. So with that said, I think, you know what I need to do to, I need to take a look at the, uh, at the VSS itself. So we go stop screen. And let me uh, share the, the other screen, um, the SolidWorks screen window. SolidWorks. Oh. That's kind of weird. Oh, you know what it is? Is that when I have the window minimized, it, it finds a thumbnail, but it doesn't find the actual program okay so um
what I want to do before I move on to the VSS parts, what I want to do is uh, add at least one more thing to this. I'm not quite sure exactly what. I was thinking of um, adding like a dome piece here. Let me um, just real fast do a small part just so I can kind of move forward with this. Well, I'll do it right here. Sketch, sketch. What I'm going to do is just make a little outline. And it didn't catch. Oh, it did catch. Let me do it again. Sketch. So what I want to do is make a like a dome for the bottom of this. So I'm going to, I'm not quite sure how it's going to work out. But what I think it will, what I'm thinking of is printing it so it has like these flat sides. And then uh, kind of work its way to the dome section. Yeah, I'm not quite sure yet. Um, so I tell you one, you know, one thing is that kind of wish I can clone myself, you know? <laughs> there are so many things going on. I really can use, uh, I really can use help, really. Okay. This is the way this dome is. So the dome is going to be here, but it's going to have to be smaller. I say it's a dome because that's the only shape I have in my mind. It doesn't have to be a dome. It could be something else. Like what I want to do here, I just want to make an outline. That's all. I wonder if I can take a shortcut. And can I simply this a gold mirror can I do that is it accurate enough I think I think it is I could have made it like a an array with you know, three three sides You know, like select, select, um, a portion and then do an array, select, you know, to do like a circular array and, uh, could have done something like that. 
But the reason why I did it is because I was just kind of wondering about the accuracy. But I guess it is. I guess I did this. Did it before. Because it looks like it's it's accurate. Pieces or points are meeting each other. So. No. Almost done on this. And then I can kind of. What I would do after getting this outline done is make a copy, paste the copy into another file, extrude a particular layer with it first, and then that's it. Then I'll switch over to the VSS. Uh, yeah. So is there anything new in the uh, action figure world that we can talk about? Can I? Yay, OK. It looks like I've got everything there. I want to do another circle here. Just as a guide to let's say right about there. This would be a guide. These are guide circles for me. For construction, okay. So oh and so that way I know that this is definitely horizontal here. Let me put that line. Now I'm just going to copy it. It's going to say, you know, there's items you can't copy. You know, copy. Okay. Say yes. Now I'm going to save this as for future reference in case I have to do it again. I don't have to recreate it. You don't see it, but it's there. Sketch, sketch two is this outline. Save this. change the angle uh, close this close that file new part you know I'm, I'm also in the mood to work with the, uh, uh, the World War one tank. That's going to be fun also. Um, top plane. Now, of course, this, this part is going to be for an upside down piece, you know, position. But I'm going to have to, but I'm, I'm going to, to design it uh, right side up. Just because it'll be easier. Sketch. Yeah, it's upside down. Okay, here it is. Paste. Uh, oh, it didn't catch. Control Z. Or don't save. File new. Do it again. Just easier to do it again. Top. Sketch. Okay. Paste. There it goes. Yeah. Now, what I do have to do, and I can do it with a 0 0.25, 0 0.25, is make an offset. reverse the direction this is just for a reminder to me that 
these items, uh, this this side has to fit tightly with what's already printed. So it'll be about this this space. But this side here is you know that's that's fine. Uh, here's some hammering. So yeah, I'm kind of thinking out loud at the same time. There's noises going on on other other places here. Some some work going on. This that this that and one more and then i'll trim it and then it's ready to go uh this that yeah there's there's a lot of stuff for the action figure uh genre that's going on it's just so many things to keep up you know i feel like i'm falling behind You know, there's joy toy stuff to get into, to get involved with. Really want to. And there's some project going on with a, a red skull. I don't know what's what's that something about. And all I see is like someone pushing ads for it, really. You know, or announcements about it, then I have no idea what's about. I mean, you know, there's a lot of a, a lot of assumptions with the the action figure community. Like people assume if you're if you see something in let's say a boss fight or a marauder site uh, group or something. You must be a, a boss fight or marauder fan, which is which is true, you know, or, or customer. But but in terms of like, for example, um, I see a, a, a red skull thing being being posted about. I have no idea what's that. What is that? Is that like you know the uh, the UK version of Jejo or uh, Action Force or something? Is that part of that? Is that like some sort of you know some sort of Baron um, type vehicle thing, or is that something Destro did? Uh, what was it? You know, there were um, some Iron Grenadier type vehicles that had different uh, stylings, and this, you know, these are the times where, or these were the times where I decided to stop collecting GI Joe. So. I didn't get into the comic books at that time. I didn't get the vehicles or anything like that. So, is this skull thing uh, related to that? Is it something unique, something different? Instead, I just see like, you know, awesome new project or something like that. I have no idea about its background. You know, how should I approach it in terms of, of a collector? Should I approach it as a GI Joe? vehicle as a standalone vehicle as you know how i don't know now if it's like um you know there's there's a lot of assumptions and the assumption is that if you are active you know in this particular group you must know and i and i don't you know am i am i alone in this you know or the or other people also in the same boat what about internationally? You know, um, extrude. How maybe make this two millimeters? I'm saying it's selected contours is because it got these circles that could also be extruded. But I just want the body. You know, so I'll have to look into that and, and figure it out. But it's like too bad I didn't see like a like a like a starting point uh, you know about this particular skull or you know that kind of thing. So I don't know. I don't know. Uh, say that as. I mean, it looks good.
Um, what should I call it? Underside. I don't know. Underside A. One dash one for lack of a. I don't know. But yeah, it looks good. I just don't know much about it. I, I kind of wish I did. Okay. Now. What I would like to do is, um, I tell you, that food is really making my stomach go, you know, it's like, uh, I wish it was ready, I'll be eating it right now, it's, it's, maybe I should get a Coca-Cola or something like that, keep my, my stomach busy on something else. Um, okay, let me, let me, uh. Let me go to my network and let me go to the VSS folder and start taking a look at VSS things. Okay, I'm under some of the themes. Of v oh, it's been a while, huh? Some of the themes. VSS. Assembly plans. VSS002. Okay, so what I have done is that I have started I guess I could show well, let me see File open Paste Okay, I have started version three. So what I brought to um, JoeFest is version two. So let me go to version two first. I start seeing what I can do. I think I'm going to have to go to the uh, engine room section. Engine. And I want to take a quick look. Get re-familiar with the folders. Start taking a quick look to see how the... Um, See, I'm going to start doing some, you know, lessons learned type improvements. And I want to see how, I want to take a quick look to see how I, I did it for the, the, the engine room to, to connect to the MDF wood portions. Because that's going to be important. Can you all see this? Yeah, I guess you can. This is just about the engine room. Look at all these files. And this is just one part. All the stuff, I did some kind of uh, color code so all the stuff that you see in yellow relates to the lights. Of 
there are some items in this kind of like a lilac blue, a very light blue. Uh, these other items in this orange, I was just using it for like, this is like the main structure, the uh, like beams, bulkheads, things like that. Let me go back and take a look at the assemblies right on top. So some of these things, I'm, so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to reprint. Here's, here's how it assembles. I'm going to reprint and recut. And as I do them, I'm going to do a number of them. So that way I have inventory on hand. I don't know how many to, to keep on hand. Now, as I do them, though, it, I'm going to be implementing the improvements. The improvements are in version three, and so I'll be I'll be um, crossing version two, which what you see here, to version three. So this is the way this, uh, so I think the first thing that needs to get done really is how the Dial Warriors uh, parts are going to be connected to the MDF wood. The way I did it was, I, the way I did it is okay. In, in in the classic VSS, I attached the engine room to the aft portion, which would be like the the brig. And so it's no longer the brig for me, but it was uh, the best place I could think of on on attaching. And the way I did it was make some drill some small holes and then put like a dowel that can just slide in and so the dowel was 3d printed it was done in in such a way where it could be um a brass tube or aluminum tube or something stronger than 3d printing um It could be a, a, a nut, nut and bolt. That probably will be the way I would do for selling it on store. I would probably uh, go to Home Depot and find um, a nice looking, um, you know, screw with a, with some 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 nut, and then I would. Whoop, you see these this cylinder here this is the dowel and i would just uh put the nuts into that area there so i'm i'm going to do that approach so as i do this i'm going to be uh implementing those changes and then you'll be able to follow and implement those changes or implement those things to your vss as well um, I will put the information like, you know, if, if I find the right size nuts and, and screw, I, or bolt, however it's called, I will um, post that information so you can go out and, and get it yourself or I can supply it. Maybe for aesthetics, I'll just do it as a big Allen, uh, an Allen uh, screw or a big stem bolt you know that kind of thing stem bolt um will it be self-sealing i don't know <laughs> uh i wonder if i could make a self-sealing stem bolt 
So I'm going to change the way this is approached as well. This bottom piece is wood. So I'm going to change this, all of this. So this uses wood and the top, instead of using um, plastic, I have ABS here. I could I could do it as a 3D print as well. I, I may leave this as as ABS. Two millimeter. Either that or or I'll do it as, as wood. But uh, I gotta make the changes. Actually to keep things to keep things as compatible as possible. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll take a look. I'll, I'll see. Because um, this is styrene. we see in white. That's not a problem. This is ABS. It's two millimeters thick. I was thinking maybe I can just make it uh, three millimeters. And that would be wood. But you see, there's another part that connects to this. And that and all of that has to line up the same. So I don't know. I I, I think I think there are some options here. I can replace the styrene. The styrene is not quite one millimeter. It's a little bit less. But the thing is, is that it's so close to one millimeter that the two millimeters here plus the one millimeter there, you know, makes it approximately three millimeters. And that's, and this down here is three millimeters. But the thing is, is that I could easily change this, these two, into like some sort of grate. So instead of having a styrene cover, we could have a, a grate, a grated floor. So I'll take a look at this some more, okay? I'll take a look at all of this some more. Because what I'm thinking about also is like the warp core area. Now, I won't be able to to, to include or sell uh, a warp core. I can put the information about, like, what is it? But um, the only thing I can do with, with it is to... Maybe put links to like similar light bulbs or something, something different. But basically, I wonder if I can make if I can make my own warp core. Let me see something real fast. I want to see if, how about Christmas lights. Let me bring up uh, a browser window here. We go to Amazon. Amazon.com. Um, Christmas light icicle. Icicle. There's a. Is that there's a. a, a oh, yeah, okay. Raindrop lights. That's it. Can I get a raindrop light that's USB? LED quartered electric. Can I can I get a, a single? A, uh, see, I don't want outdoors. Oh, hey, look at that. Haha, <laughs> maybe.
This is interesting. Watching the, the video for it. So it comes with the plug, but it's not grounded. It's just two two prong plug. Waterproof, except for the plug. <laughs> they, sh they should say power plug. They got other videos. Are they going to show the results of how it looks? Extendable, okay. Well, the effect might be kind of tall, you know, kind of kind of long. Now, okay, if I were to include a, if I were to to design for a warp core, maybe I would design for something like this, you know, one of these Christmas lights where the, the LED strip cascades. So it's, you blink, 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 you know. So it just, just comes down, you know, this this blink. Looks like, looks like falling light. Now, the thing is that they're, they're kind of long. It's said, what, what, eight inches? Well, not that long. Okay, get rid of this video. How long? Oh, 11. Come on. 11 inches. So, almost a foot. 11 and a half inches. So, that means it's this big. So, that's kind of too tall unless I were to make the engine part uh, taller you know like in the middle just have a, a raised section that's possible okay I can do that but would it be better if I were to design uh, a warp core where it's uh, horizontal you see that in like uh, Star Trek: The Motion Picture, the uh, the Wrath of Khan. You see that, especially um, a vertical. Uh, to a certain extent, Star Trek: Enterprise. But you see that with uh, an ex uh, a vertical, I mean a, a horizontal warp core. It's only like next generation. Um, Deep Space Nine, the defiant, well, defiant is a little different, but um, and uh, and Voyager, we see a vertical warp core. So it's possible to do a warp core uh, horizontal. Would that be better? And how many of these lights would I need? Probably just one. Oh uh, yeah. Probably just one. So okay, let me let me um let me go add to list. So that way I don't lose it. Continue shopping. Uh, let me see. Christmas light icicles. USB. I don't want it for outdoors. It can be indoors. Oh, hold on, folks. Gotta take this call.
Okay, okay, I'm, I'm back. Uh, kind of an important call I had to take. Sorry about that. So, yeah, I'm looking for these. Um, let me see if I can show you real fast. Uh, I guess I can share the screen. I get well. Uh, let me let me let me stop the screen and open up the next screen, next browser. I gotta do this. Share, share screen. Window. This one. Okay. And what I'm looking for are things that kind of resemble this. Oh, here's a USB. Christmas lights, meter shower lights on a waterproof 8-inch. It has a USB thing. Twelve ninety nine. So let's see. Ported electric power source. So what's all this? Is what how they connect? Okay, so they connect. <laughs> I guess to the plug through USB or power plug USB. Okay, so that's the power cord. This might be worth worth trying. Let's see. Let's see the video. Can you all see the video? Uh, yeah, I guess you all can see the video, right? So what I'm thinking of doing is using, if I can, one of these strips. I don't want to end up collecting strips. What's the length? Probably go for, see, I'll, I'll, I'm boring. I think I'll just go for the white one <laughs> rather than the color. Okay, go away. Uh, so yeah, so I'm looking at this. You can hook up to your yeah, three sets best, multiple sets by USB connection. Connect. So eight and a half inch. So one of these have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight strips. You can chain them like this. Waterproof. I wonder, you know, can you do something with all of these things, like some sort of powerful VSS weapon, a main cannon? Or or something like that? Uh, hmm. So okay, so let me also save this. I think I'll, I think I'm going to get this one. Add to list. Okay. Uh, continue shopping. Um, can I do do this again? Uh, icicle. It's just a USB. Can I just get one? Twenty ice schools, tiny lights. 
the USB Christmas lights screen. If I just call light string, it's just going to basically be a screen of the lights. Oh, okay, print just finished. Um, what is this? Empower Lucy stream lights. Oh, maybe this is all I need. <laughs> uh, USB plug-in, fairy lights, 50 light bulbs, 16 feet silver wire string. I just want the thing to do more than just simply turn on. If they can do like a cascade effect. USB cascade light under cabinet lights RGB sound control no. some of these are just too big meteor shower rain lights meteor shower rain lights Uh, how about if we just do that? LED USB rain light. Really, all I all I want is just one light. Thirty centimeters, ten tubes. Eight inch tubes. Two pack on it. Well, I don't know, I think it's gonna take a lot more look looking to find a single single strip Dimmable. No, this is definitely nothing you know what I'm looking for. Well, anyways, I'm curious about this. Just want to see. What is this? Solar string lights. Okay, so that's all it is, just a, a solar thing. Looks kind of dim. I'll just look again real fast. Uh, this looks like a mess of wires. So these 
Hmm. It's kind of like the first one I was looking at. Okay, well, enough, enough, enough. Okay, go to stop the screen there. So anyway, back to the to the VSS and uh, say share screen. Window. This one share. So my thoughts is that uh, if I do a warp core, either I can make a warp core look like the warp core that I have here. Okay. But it would not be functional other than, and this is where I, I'm iffy on. If I can find a tube that I can easily cut, I'll include a tube. So you can add however you want to it. Or what I can do is, um, remember the Star Trek uh, Voyager series, uh, what was it, the Dauntless? I don't remember. It's the one where, where there's an alien that blames the Borg and blames uh, uh, Captain Janeway for not allowing species 8402 to continue their, their war against the Borg in which the Borg was losing uh, because Janeway stepped in and interfered uh she tipped the the balance in the borg's favor 8402 retreated and the borg expanded to other areas that they were having um issues with so as as voyager continued on this on this trek to the alpha quadrant the Borg um, focused on some species they were trying to assimilate. And because of, of the war with uh, species 8402, their attention, their resources were elsewhere. So now with 8402 out of the way, they were able to refocus their attention. And one particular species, uh, there's one survivor at least, and he blames Janeway for her interference, which enabled the Borg to finally uh, assimilate his home world and his people. And so he gets his ship and he uh, makes changes to the interface, of all sorts of other technologies to alter the appearance of the, of the ship. So it looks like a Federation ship. And then he orchestrates it where he intercepted a transmission from Starfleet and falsifies the message. So it, it seems like Starfleet has been experimenting with quantum slipstream drive and in which they were able to set up an automated ship I think it's called the Dauntless, and sent it all the way to the um, to the Delta Quadrant, so that way Janeway and, and crew can abandon Voyager, get onto the Dauntless, and in about three months or so, they would make it back to the Alpha Quadrant. And um, so during the the course of the episode, it becomes revealed that it's all a big deception. And so the thing is, is that the quantum slipstream drive was a very low, uh, of course it was bigger than this, okay? But the main prop for it was a low uh, table-like prop. And so it's round, it has this, uh, a large dome and there's a huge plasma ball inside there doing this plasma ball thing now i've seen i, I do have well oh, let me let me see real fast uh what's the smallest plasma ball i can get because another idea 
is what if I were to do like a plasma, um, a plasma disc, something like this. And you know, here is, I'm, I'm talking and it's detecting my voice and lights up, or you can keep it on. So what if I do something like this at the bottom, you know, and kind of have a, well, kind of have a dome on it, but let's see, can the light transfer, you know, tra travel through that? No. Um, what if I were to have it flat like this, you know, or, or large, because you can do large things. And uh, I don't know. But let me see, how much is a plasma, a plasma ball? Real fast. LED. No, not LED, sorry. Plasma. Plasma ball. USB. Uh, I want small size. Oh, they got long size. 19. Butterfly plasma balls. Oh, that's a butterfly inside. That looks interesting. I want a small size plasma ball. Oh, here's a... Oh, a three inch. Ha ha ha. Battery operated? Or USB? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Let me, let me, let me, um, uh, let me stop the screen again. Check this out. Check this out. Uh, where's my browser? Okay. Um, stop screen. Share. Uh, share screen. Window. Right here. Check this out. Check this out. Okay. Lots of, lots of choices here, but look at this one. This one with a uh, three-inch uh, three mini plasma ball. The price is nice. I'm interested in something like this, you know, some of these small ones as well. As long as they have um, USB. Don't need it with a, a butterfly inside. Have a ball, lamp, blah, 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 touch bosses, system toys. I just, I just want it with a USB. What's this? I'm curious. Um. I'll go for something like that because of the steps. This looks like it's a plastic thing there. I don't know, this, but let me take a look at this first. I have it right here. This looks interesting, of course. Battery powered plasma three inch with USB cable. What is three inch? The height, the base, or the uh, the globe part? Looks like the the globe part is it is it diameter or is it radius? Maybe diameter. Let's see about like that, huh? See, here's another option also is to use something like this. It's a seven inch. Let me take a look, take a quick look. Okay, enough. So I'm I'm very curious about this. No video, huh? No video? Oh gosh. Okay. See, I'm also thinking about this because you know, maybe. Maybe all that's needed is just uh, put something like this on. See, I have something similar. The thing is, is, is $12. The thing is, is that 
if I were to put this on a little bitty USB piece and then mount it, can this have the a warp core like effect? You know, a bunch of lights. Of course, it'll look kind of disco ish. That might be a turn off. I think I do have one of those, a similar uh, thing somewhere. I would have to make a dome. Maybe I can vacuum form a dome. So and maybe I can do a dome where I wonder if I can paint the underside of the dome with a little bit of uh, of uh, white or silver, just enough to prevent see-through, but not enough to stop the lights, and you end up having this. You know, dots of multicolor lights. How do they do the color with this? Is it just the plastic that has the color? No. Okay. Here's a three inch green ball. Do they have video? Play. And just leave it alone, but don't touch it. I want to see how it looks without the touch. Okay. So, yeah, that that might be... This one might be... Okay. Battery power. Just battery. That might be a pain. So I'd rather get it USB, so that way I don't have to worry about power. Three inch though. I'm just curious about this real fast. Look at that. Would this make a better warp core? No video. I guess that's all it does. Oh well. Yeah. Guess that's oh, close up. Huh? It's too bad because it it could make for an interesting warp core effect if if it did more than just that. And no other size, huh? Well, I think I'm going to order Well here's I guess it'll always will have these things whether I think I'll see about ordering it ordering this one with the USB. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see about designing something like this as a warp core replacement and uh, basically make um, make it so all you have to do is just add the Dial Warriors props to this and you get yourself your own warp core. But uh, maybe something like um, quantum slipstream core you know something something different or maybe you know you know it's a, a, a cobra warp core you know something that's different not necessarily star trek looking so anyways with that i think i'm going to go get myself something to eat because man that's that food smells good yeah that food smells good i am going to go grab a bite i hope it's cooked you know, it's in a crock pot. Oh, hey. Greetings. Sorry I missed the, uh, 
the, um, the comment. Wow, got many pieces. I have a meeting soon at Central. Can't see for long. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's uh, and that was just one room. Let me um bring that back up. Uh, stop the screen and uh, share. Share screen. Share screen. One at a time. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so this um so what I'm, what I'm gonna do then, okay, just to to recap is um see it goes in this way. On what I did, I wasn't very happy with the way this met up with um with the VSS, this section. So what I would like to do here is redesign this part. I think I use I ended up using floor grates, and it looked better. This is styrene. I would uh, pr I would have to see how I do it. I ideally I think it would look better with a uh, floor grate rather than uh, styrene. Perhaps I can eliminate this layer here. Sink this down. So it's styrene and then put floor grade on top. So that way you could have the styrene painted uh, a silvery color, for example. And that should look okay in terms of what you can see through the, the floor grate. If it's dark, well, the floor grate is going to look dark being gray plastic. So you would have to paint the floor grate silvery to, you know, to highlight that is dark underneath. You know, if not, it's just going to look, you know, dark everywhere. But if that's your thing, thing is that if you wanted to, you can paint the styrene uh, red and then put the floor grate on top, and then you have this red color underneath the floor grate. That might be interesting there. So there's there's options. and uh, But like I said, I'm going to have to see about designing this part make it make it more uh how to say make it compatible to the rest but i'm thinking you know along those lines like that same overall structure uh, basically like a puzzle this would require uh you know pegs but i would see to it about changing the pegs into some sort of uh thing that uses um screws and although you know it's kind of kind of narrow maybe i could use maybe i could do like for where, where you see maybe i could do like screw hole here 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 that kind of thing rely more on screw holes and then i would put like screw hole here you know here that kind of thing something like that every other or maybe like one here one here and on the other side another here one other here and then do it in such a way where you know you can put the Allen wrench so I have a cutout. So yeah, so there will be some small little changes, but it'll be enough not to be a, a drastic change. Okay. I am going to get started. So with that said, I gotta start on the print, and then I'm gonna switch gears and I'm gonna go and cut some vinyl tubes for the orders and then get out. So Okay, folks, stop sharing. Thanks. I'm going to um, start my day. All right. Catch y'all later. Hey. Bye-bye. End broadcast.